Have you ever seen a controller overlay and you were wondering how to set it up? Well, in today's video, I'll show you how to do it. It's super simple. So without further ado, let's go right into it. All right, like I said, this is extremely easy to set up. All you need to do is go to this website called gamepadviewer.com. I will link it down in the description below. And when you open it up, it's going to say there are currently no gamepads connected. Press any button to enable. So what you need to do is obviously turn on your controller. And once you do that, it will show up right here. So you can do it wirelessly like me, or you can plug it in wired and it's going to work just fine. So if you turn it on, this message will disappear in the bottom, but you will see this currently viewing none. So you need to click on none and choose player one, and then you'll see the controller show up right over here. So no matter what I change, it's also going to change it on the screen. If you don't want the Xbox One controller, all you need to do is click on the Xbox button and choose Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. You have all these other controllers you can choose and make sure it fits your controller. Obviously, I'm using a PlayStation 5 and there are currently no PlayStation 5 controllers, but you can choose PlayStation 4 or anything else like that. So once you have everything set up, all you need to do is click on the hamburger menu on the top left and then go into generate URL over here. Once you click on generate URL, it's going to pop up with this thing right over here. So you need to choose your skin, the one you want to have as an overlay. So the one that we just changed, you can click over here and then choose either Xbox One, 360, PlayStation. I'll choose PlayStation 4 just for this purpose of this video. And then everything else, keep it as default. Once you've done that, you click on this URL over here, click once, it's going to copy it to your clipboard and then you can paste it in as a browser source in OBS. Once you open up OBS, you're going to see this screen right over here. It's going to show you the sources. You right click on the source, you click on add and then you go into the browser source. You click on the browser source, you can name it controller overlay, for example, and then click on OK. And now you change this URL to the URL that you copied. So you click on that, you click on OK and you have your controller set up right over here. As you can see, it says disconnected, but if we press one button, it's going to show it up right over here. So now we can change whatever, click on the buttons, and you can see that it does show it on the screen itself. You can reposition it, place it wherever you want, but that's how you can set up the controller overlay. And that's basically it. Like I said, it's extremely easy to do. You can do it in a few minutes and your stream will stand out a little bit more over other people and maybe potentially get more viewers because of that as well. If you guys did like this video, make sure to drop a like. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you wanna see more of my OBS guides or something else shimmy related, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.